Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today I have a question from Rob. Rob says, my girlfriend of three years avoids discussing the future. We don't live together, but we spend a lot of time with each other. What does that mean? Am I being stupid hanging around? Rob, I don't think you're being stupid, but I think you're really smart to question things. Because first of all, you're not living together. So she's committed, but she's not really committed. She's not willing to really talk about it. She's just taking every day the same as it was in the first year that you met her. Are you going to spend the next five years with her just wondering if you're gonna actually end up cohabitating together? Or is this gonna always be sort of more of a casual, full-time relationship? Because we can commit and then we can commit. There's a big difference in that. If she's being loyal to you and seeing you four to five days a week, and that's great, but you want more now. You wanna maybe share expenses, living in a home together, maybe have kids, and she's not really budging on this. I would tell her that what is important to you, put all the steps out in front of her and let her know what's what you want. And say to her, is this something you want? Don't put pressure on her, but say, can you see yourself doing this with me? Is this something, that you want in your future and if so when because after three years you're putting a lot of energy into that relationship and if you're putting that much energy into somebody you love and you're not really getting it back in the percentage of how you want it to be there you you're not being silly about being there but you have a right to ask her those tough questions now I know sometimes it, when people say, well, I don't really want to talk about the future, I'm not really ready right now. What, what's wrong with what we're doing? It's perfect, just the way it is. Why do you want to screw things up? They've got something that they're dealing with. They're, they're not divulging to you. Because otherwise, why wouldn't you want to make your life go on to that next progressive step? Because that's what you do. If you're in love with somebody and you're talking about spending your years together, you don't sit here and not talk about the future. So you need to get to the bottom of why she's wanting to be away from this conversation. Because you deserve to, the answers to this now. So I would put it to her pretty, pretty in her face about what you want. Tell her your boundaries, your guidelines. If she doesn't want to go there, maybe it might be time for you to think of another situation that you want to be in. Because it's not really fair that you're, you're getting kind of the short end of the stick here. She's living her life to how she wants, but you're not really living it to the 100% of what you want. So I would suggest that you get those questions out there. Say to her, what is going on here? If she doesn't give you an answer and, and you push her for that answer, even if maybe she needs to go to counseling about something that happened to her in her past, maybe there's some trauma that she's dealing with from, from another situation and a past relationship, whatever it is, you want to figure it out because it's not fair on you that you're sitting around waiting for her to decide about your future. It's two people, two situations here need to come together. So put that out there to her. If she doesn't really want to talk about it, she's not communicative. And is that who you want to spend the rest of your life with? Someone who doesn't want to talk about stuff and doesn't want to commit with you? So thanks for asking the question because it's a good one. You've given her three years, you've been an amazing boyfriend, hanging in there, waiting for her to sort of figure out what she wants, but it's really time to figure out what you want now. Thanks for writing, Rob. Please keep your questions coming to Dear Cyber Sue here on YouTube, and please subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below. Thanks so much, bye.